Hey everybody, welcome to Kilmo's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Escape from Pretoria, I think it's called or pronounced, I don't know. But Daniel Radcliffe is a prisoner, I believe because of political reasons, in South Africa. And him and somebody else tries to escape from that prison. Um, and it's based on a real life prison break, so that's why I chose to watch it. I was a little disappointed, I thought I was going to get to watch something else tonight. That's not working out, so this is second choice. So let's hope, hope, hope it's a decent movie. Um, we'll see. It is uh, currently 6.3 in IMDb, so not that great, but I like real life stories. I like Prison Break. I like the TV show Prison Break. Daniel Radcliffe, uh, whatever. All right, I'll get into it here, find out what it's really about, and ultimately let you know what I think. So stick around. Hey everybody, I want to do a real quick check in here. We're watching Escape from Pretoria. Um, we're at the 50 minute 20 second mark. So, not much to tell. The movie is all about the prison break, really. So Daniel Radcliffe is in um, South Africa fighting the movement um, against uh, you know racism that exists down there, free South Africa, that kind of stuff. So him and his, his buddy, his friend, whatever, um, do some stunts, some political stunts. Uh, nothing that harms anybody, but uh, but they throw the book at him. Um, but he's there trying to, you know, end, you know, the racism that that exists down there, the segregation, whatever. Very small in the beginning, they get the book thrown at him, so they're in this prison. Uh, but immediately, as they're in prison, they're trying to break out, um, and so it's all the steps that he's taking in order to try and to break out. Now, there's somebody on the inside who, who you know, knows what he's about. He's part of a movement kind of thing um, and is helping him. Another guy as well who just wants to get out, uh, see his son. So he's helping him too. Um, so that's what they're going through. It's all the different things that they have to do in order to try and get out. You know, first thing is getting out of their cell. And then after they get out of their cell, how do you get out after that? Whatever. And it's all about that. So have you ever seen Escape from Alcatraz, Clint Eastwood? That's what it's like. Um, and so it's interesting. It is. It's it's very um, edge of your seat. A lot of anxiety. You know, as things are going on, you don't want them to get caught. You're rooting for them. Um, and, you know, things don't go its way. It's like, oh, no, what's going to happen kind of stuff. So so it's good. It's, it's good. And uh, um, I'm, I'm interested. But it's like I've seen it before. So not this. But, you know, we'll see where it goes from here. Um, we're going to keep watching here. If anything interesting happens, again, I'll jump in. If not, I'll see you at the credits and give you my final thoughts. But I am liking Daniel Radcliffe in it. Um, I think he's doing a pretty good job as a prisoner, which is unexpected. So, all right. Um, I'll be back in a little bit. Stick around. Hey, everybody. We're at the credits of Escape from Pretoria. Um... And I have to say, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Now, um, I mean, it is anxiety. <laughs> you know what I mean? The entire movie is anxiety. You're trying to, are they going to make it out? Are they not? You know, and there's just so many moments like that. But that's fun. I liked it. Um, it really is 100%, I shouldn't say 100, 99% of the movie is the attempt to escape. You know, like I said in the beginning, they show how they got in there. Um, and then the rest of it is just tr them, um, you know, putting together their plan. And it, it didn't dawn on me until the end of the movie was like, I don't even know the characters' names. I mean, it was that much visually driven. There wasn't so much dialogue in it. And I didn't even, again, didn't even think of it. Don't know their characters' names, you know, but you know who they are, right? Um... So that, that, as you think about that, that, that really, really makes a really good movie because, you know, a lot of things have a lot of dialogue and back and forth. That's not here, you know, um, and it's not needed and it was lost on me. Um, so I think that's got to tell you something. What I like about stories based on true life, a couple of things, if you haven't seen me before, um, I love to see the words at the end. What has happened since the end of the movie? You know, I like to know that it happens. I like to see pictures of the real people next to the other people. 
it has that. So it has those two things, so you can check them off the list on any any movie like that for me. Um, and I and I definitely think it's worth watching if you like movies like Prison Break movies. It's really if you like The Rock, if you like the TV show Prison Break, um, you know Escape from Alcatraz, so on and so forth. Um, you'll love this one, I think. And uh, and I thought it was it was really well done, well acted, because they didn't have a lot to say. So that helps, I think, a lot. Um, and uh, and it's based on a true story. So I won't go into any further detail. Of course, I didn't know anything about this, about these two people who were in prison, um, you know, or anything like that heading into it. So I went into a blind. I suggest you do the same, because um, it makes it really enjoyable. Um, and that's it. That's all I got. I don't have to say any more for you. Um, pretty interesting film based on free South Africa and uh, and uh, we'll have you on the editor's seat so it's not a minute that goes by that you're not really in deep into it and it's great so there you go that's all I got for you check it out let me know what you think love to hear your comments what do you think of the movie did you enjoy it I'll say a 7 yeah 7 I don't know about an 8 but definitely a 7 but you can see where I'm going so you get check it out um, and then let me know. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And of course, tell all your friends and continue to tune in to Kimmel's Irish Pub.